What's good guys, it is Monday the 1st of May and I want to welcome you to this week's episode of the weekly market preview. For this week we'll be looking at three different pairs which is the USD franc, the USD cat and the euro yen. Now one thing we want to take note of is that uh, the second round of the French elections will be this weekend so we will definitely be expecting a lot of volatility, possibly another huge gap like last week so that's something we want to take note of if we do have any open euro positions so the first chart we will be looking at will be this one is the usd franc on the four hour chart and as you can see i've already drawn my done my analysis on this i think i did it uh, last week i think a few days ago but i'll just go through it if you again uh, as you can see we have a swing low to swing high and this will constitute a bull for a potential bull bullish flag and uh, once we establish that bull price is just um slowly making its way downwards in this bearish channel as you can see it respects the top of the channel with this um, rejection here once twice three times and a fourth time right here as you can see price um, broke out of the flag um, but we are there's still a potential to trade this uh, there's still a potential trading opportunity if price can push back down into this 618 level and possibly a retest of this uh, flag pattern right here the reason why we figured out this zone, this uh, kill zone right here, this decision zone in yellow is because um, we have a 618 retracement of this of this move right here. I'm just turn off my magnet. Swing high to swing low, we have a 6, um, six no sorry, for this swing low to swing high, this flag right here, we have a 618 level. And this swing high to this swing low, we have a 382. That gives us a very nice zone for us to potentially enter a long position. As you can see also price previously entered this zone, rejected it here. Uh, this candle rejected the bottom of the flag, uh, rejected this zone, pushed down a bit, rejects it before breaking out of the, of the flag pattern. So a decent opportunity that we can look for is if price, if price manages to push down with, into this level, uh, the confluence of the 618 and also our our trend line right here if price can come back down here then we'll be looking for a long position let me just see if there's any um fibonacci levels in that area using this swing right here i'll take a fibonacci retracement swing low swing high we potentially have a 618 it's a very nice level to look at so if price comes down into this area we could potentially look for some um, divergence in RSI, possibly a higher, higher, higher close candle, and then go for a long opportunity. Uh, this will um, put um, conventional targets for a bullish flag would be this move right here. It's a one-to-one -one measured move of this uh, pole right here. If I were to copy and paste it, you can see that it's a it's a it's a one-to-one -one measured move, an ABCD pattern. So the ABCD pattern coincides with this 127 extension and this 127, 127 extension is this move right here. This uh, pole we have. So conventional targets would be here but this is on the 4 hour chart so it could potentially take a while for price to get up here. It's about uh, 260 pips. So we'll see if we can get a retracement back down into the 618 level coinciding with the trend line before we go for a long opportunity. <clears throat> So this is the USD franc. The next one is an interesting pair. This is the USD cat on the daily chart. We actually discussed this with some of our members in the private trading group. And um and I think it's a decent opportunity that, that we have here. So this is the USD cat on the daily chart, and as you can see, price made a, had a big sell-off right here. Um with this um bearish move. Before you know it just consolidated all the way up just as slowly making its way up sideways um, as you can see we have a potential butterfly pattern right here let me just uh, clear my screen and just do the analysis all over for you we have a potential um, bearish butterfly pattern we have our let me just draw it out first we have our X to A A to B which is around the 786 level X to A, A to B, we have our B to C and our CD completion coming around here. I think it's around here. But if I were to just... Uh, this completion right here is an extension of this leg, a 1618 extension. So if I were to draw it out for you, let me just clear the screen for you. An extension of that... Uh, and a 1618 extension of that will bring us around 
here. So this could potentially be our pattern. X to A, A to B, B to C, and a CD around here. And if we were to use, and if we were to draw a line on that area, you can see that this is a uh, recently, not not so recent, but at the start of uh, 2016, we have some decent reaction with this area. We have um, resistance, resistance. Uh, sorry, we have yep, resistance, resistance, and price made a false breakout here with the support before testing this area again here. So this could potentially be a decent area for entry. Uh, one, one more thing I want to let you guys know is that um, a confluence of this 1618 level, this uh, AB extension, will be an extension of the X to A leg. So if I were to use an extension of the X to A leg, or we could just use a retracement, X to A. And we will see that we have a 127 level, or 1618, 1414, a 1414 level in that area typically it's the 1618 but this is a bit a bit too far off a big a bit too big of a zone well, about 100 pip about 70 pips so we have a 1414 lining up with that 1618 level uh, and also something interesting that I want to show you guys is that this is the daily chart so Fibonacci levels tend to be respected and um, if we were to use this swing right here swing high to swing low and have a retracement let's see what levels we get in that area swing high to swing low you see that we have a very nice 618 level lining up can you see that right here it just uh I'll, let me just click it and can you see that 618 level it lines up very nicely with our with our Fibonacci levels, our, our 1618 level, and this is what you call the golden ratio. And the 1618 level lines up with the 618 retracement, you know it's going to be a decent opportunity. So, this is uh, something that we can look out for in the next few days. Price is about price is about 180 pips away, so that's something we want to look out for. One other thing that uh, gives us um, a bit of confidence in this trade is that we are close to the 13. Let me just uh, draw it out. 138 level the 138 level is this red line right here and as you can see a 1381 level a 1.38 level lines up with our golden ratio the 618 and the 1618 so this gives us a decent area of entry this gives us a decent uh, shorting opportunity mm. other than that I don't think we have a possibly a one to one measured move just now I drew it out for you how to copy and paste that a one-to-one -one measured move brings us right below right below that zone so this could potentially be a decent opportunity in the next few days so this is the USD cat something that we can look out for uh, possibly wait for price to go overboard or showing some divergence on the four hour or one hour chart as you can see it's already showing some divergence price making higher highs but RSI is making lower high so that's something we want to look out for in the near future so this is the USD cat the next thing we'll be looking at the next pair we'll be looking at will be the euro yen let's just do some very simple uh, trend line analysis as you can see I've drawn two trend lines and the reason why I drew this is because you can see that if we connected this week with this week price has uh, reacted very nicely once here and twice here but the other interesting wicks that uh, the other interesting trend line will be the top Will be the will be a, the other trend line on top. If I were to draw a trend line connecting a few levels, you can see that we have decent interaction with this rejection, rejection around this area right here. We have a, a decent rejection right here. I would consider this a rejection, this too, because uh, price just had a false breakout before pushing back into its intended direction. The next one we have is this. We also have this and this and uh, this is a decent rejection. So as you can see this is an area that has been this is a trend line that has been respected several times before. I don't think there will be much uh, Fibonacci analysis in this since price is just consolidating within this, um, this zone right here. So something to look out for would be a potentially a tr potentially trading 
with this uh, these trend lines price could potentially just just bounce around before possibly breaking out here or breaking out here so that's something we can look out for let me just see if there's any Fibonacci levels that we can look at looking at this swing right here swing high to swing low do we have a potential level we have a 6 on it but it comes slightly slightly above that zone but I want a 6 on level also lines up very nicely with this um, this area of resistance right here you can see that price rejects around the 123 123 800 levels rejection 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 and also a lot of consolidation here so there are many ways you can approach this chart you can look at it in perspective of being in this um, triangle also using structure right here at the 123 levels before placing a short opportunity so this is something to look out for it's on the daily chart we will potentially look at this in uh, the daily market analysis where we zoom into the time frames and have a closer look at the different opportunities that has presented itself to us so yep uh, also this is a euro pair so if you want to enter any position i would advise that we exercise risk management and potentially just um be wary of uh of uh this come this weekend's um elections so uh it's a holiday it's a bank holiday monday so i want you guys to enjoy this enjoy yourselves and i will see you guys in the next video